to see, let alone enjoy. And history, at its own pace, immortalizes those who plant seeds for others to enjoy. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate winemaking, which is founded on the legacy of countless servants of the vine and steeped in history, both ancient and more recent. And tonight, we write another chapter in the history of South African wine and celebrate all winemakers who are working tirelessly to lead their legacies. Tonight, we will announce winners, but we also wish to thank and salute all our finalists. It is our pleasure to welcome you, our esteemed guests, to the 2019 Diners Club Winemaker and Young Winemaker of the Year Awards. This evening, we celebrate the legacy that winemakers build through the Diners Club Winemaker of the Year and our Young Winemaker of the Year Award. Also building on the Diners Club legacy in the South African wine industry, the Diners Club Cares Initiative seeks to empower women to plant and nurture the seeds of their own legacies by helping them with the upliftment of their families. Furthermore, Diners Club has a history of celebrating and honoring South African wine through our Wine List Awards. Congratulations go to this year's Gold, Platinum, Diamond and Icon Wine List Award winners. Speaking of history, Diners Club is proud to be associated with the best-selling Platter South African Wine Guide, which launched its 40th anniversary edition earlier this month. For any wine lover, Platters by Diners Club South African Wine Guide represents the definitive word on South African wine, rating over 8,000 wines annually. And now, to begin tonight's celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your MC for the evening, publisher of Platters and convener of the Wine List Awards, Jean-Pierre Rousseau. <laughs> Thank you everybody and a warm welcome on behalf of myself and Diners Club to this fantastic celebration, the annual Diners Club uh, Awards of the winemaker and the young winemaker, uh, winemaker of 2019. I have a few housekeeping rules and uh, a few bit of information. La Res 2008 is the Wi-Fi password if you'd like to log on and the reason for that is your phones, which are a valuable tool of communication, spreading the good word about tonight's results. Uh, please put them on silent, but use them liberally uh, at Diners Club South Africa, and the hashtag is also very useful, which is uh, wineless, sorry, wine, DC Winemaker, hashtag DC Winemaker at Diners Club South Africa. The other reason for that is you stand the chance to win a signed bottle of each of the winning wines, for the most interesting, the most informative, the most off-the-cuff, the most colourful, the most uh, you know, entertaining tweet or post tonight is the one that could win you a bottle of each of the wines. So don't stand back. The other note about the wines I'd like to mention is they will be available for sale afterwards in the outside courtyard area, uh, which is a great opportunity. And I think this type of awards means these wines will fly and um, they're available for you to purchase. Using your Diners Club card gets you 10% off, and they will be delivered to your door. So those are the commercial and marketing um, points I'd like to make to begin. So I'd like now to tell you a bit more about what I see Pinot Noir representing, which is our category this evening for Winemaker of the Year. You know, it's, it's actually very fitting that Pinot Noir is our category. There's no harder taskmaster than Pinot Noir for the winemakers. You know, it leaves little room for error. It demands the most attention, many winemakers will tell you. And also, it's a wine for the poets, the winemakers who have poetry in their hearts. So don't be fooled by the burly fellows you see around you. They have poetry in their hearts. They love, uh, if they love Pinot, they probably love love songs, romance, long walks on the beach. <laughs> you can ask them, believe me. But Pinot Noir is an interesting variety. It's a very specific variety. It loves very specific terrain, what we call terroir in wine speak. 
and it rewards diligence and attention. So I really look forward to seeing that tonight. Before that, we speak of the young winemakers, and tonight the category that they were judged in is white wines. Now, that could be a single variety, it could be a white blend. In fact, the finalists represented a few different types of white wine and also blends. So I really look forward to seeing, I don't know the results. I'm standing here as, uh, as green and as excited as all of you in the room. By the way, looking amazing. This is always one of the best uh, events of my calendar in terms of the sheer glamour and um, extravagant beauty. So thank you all very much for being here and, and, uh, and representing us all so very well. This lovely wine industry of ours is something we can all be very proud of. And from my side, as publisher of Platters, I'd like to also thank Diners Club for the commitment they show to this fantastic industry. But obviously, good luck to you finalists. There are a bit of uh, butterflies floating about. Some of them are beginning to leave the room, hopefully. Um, but soon the, the awards will be revealed and then we can, we can really enjoy ourselves. I'd also like to mention, <clears throat> stating the obvious, for the winemakers in the room and for many of you who understand wine, while we celebrate tonight the winemakers and the young winemakers, wine is never an individual pursuit. It's a team sport. And tonight we also recognize the, the people that are the team that stand behind the winemakers, starting with those who work in the vineyards, you know, who work super hard and really toil to make fantastic wine to begin the process, the teams in the cellars, the logistics teams, the support teams, the marketing teams, sales. Wine is a, is a very complex subject, I think that's true to say. It's a subject that's born out of love, but it takes a hell of a lot of hard work to bring that to us all. So while we celebrate the winemaker, let's just remember all the people behind these incredible wines. The winemaker is the conduit that brings all of these energies together and winds it into this beautiful thing that we uncork and sometimes drink casually. So let's always remember that that it's the work of, of hundreds of people uh, every, every single day of the South African calendar. So, I'd like to say thank you very much on behalf of myself, Jean-Pierre, and Platters, and Diners Club. Tonight, as tradition goes, we're going to pair the starter with the award-winning Young Winemakers Wine, which is white, which is quite useful because white often goes well with starter courses. Sometimes we've got to do the red with starter, which is interrupts tradition. You know, we like those rules, you know, white with fish. But uh, not really, I'm just joking. But tonight, obviously, we have white for a starter, beautifully paired by the La Residence Kitchen. And after that, when we have the awards for the Pinot Noir, we will pair that with our main course. So I really look forward to the, 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 the pairings and, um, and also your tweets about the pairings and the wines in front of you. At this point, I'd again like to draw your attention to the screens. We're going to be introducing the judges in this year's Winemaker and Young Winemaker of the Year Awards. Thank you. Vines are living history, and as they gain time and experience of seasons, they produce wines of ever more depth of flavor and balance. These vines are celebrated, and their history is cherished. So, too, we cherish the knowledge, experience, and prestige brought to this event by our judges, who have given their time and expertise to preside over the selection and judging of the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet your 2019 panel. Head Judge Harry Adams. International Judge Nigel Green. Debbie Van Flynen. Gregory Mutambe. Nomonde Kubega. Michael Crosley. Pinot Noir, a grape that produces some of the most haunting and revered wines in the world, as well as some of the rarest. The winemaker of the year will be awarded a flight to experience an exciting wine destination, as well as a cash prize of 50,000 rand, courtesy of Diners Club. Our young winemaker of the year will be awarded a flight to an exciting wine destination, together with a cash prize of 25,000 rand, courtesy of Diners Club. Terms and conditions apply. Diners Club will
who would like to take this opportunity to thank its partners as well as Standard Bank, without whom these incredible prizes would not be possible. Thank you, and again, w amazing prizes which are going to be richly deserved by the winemakers tonight. The finalists are here. Nobody knows, there are two people in the room who know who the winners are. Uh, but those prizes are seriously encouraging and obviously going to give the winemakers learnings and, and, and rich rewards. So thank you very much to the sponsors. At this point, I'd please like to welcome to the podium the head of card issuing Standard Bank South Africa, the lovely Ethel Niembe. Thank you, JP, and good evening, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to be here. Uh, firstly, let me compliment you all on how lovely you look tonight. Um, year after year, I'm ever so grateful for our venue, which is the perfect setting for celebrating wine and our dedicated and hardworking winemakers. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Diners Club Winemaker and Young Winemaker of 2019. Allow me to acknowledge our guests of honor, and those are all of you tonight, firstly. Thank you for being here. Thank you uh, to those of you whom I've met who bank with Standard Bank, and to all of you who carry our Diners Club card. Also, let me welcome all our winemakers, as well as our young winemaker 2019 finalists, uh, sponsored by Diners Club, our customers, as well as judges, I'd also like to welcome Ish Naidu, our Managing Director for Diners Club South Africa, our board members, and of course our key partners um, from Chicago and respectively England. <laughs> and heading Discover is Diane Offrens, who from Chicago has had the, we have the pleasure of having her here tonight, and of course Matt Sloan and Will Cross. With that, in true South African fashion, I'd like to say all protocol observed. But I must say it gives me a real pleasure to confirm that we continue as a business to engage and do more business with more wine farms as well as a variety of merchants to improve our Diners Club uh, South Africa acceptance so that you can use your card wherever you go. And because as a Diners Club brand, we operate in more than 185 countries, we know that we have a number of tourists that come through and therefore when they visit um, the wine farms, they like to purchase using their Diners Club. So your support is invaluable to us and thank you for that. Our partnership with Platters, as uh, Jean-Pierre has already mentioned, uh, the Platters wine, guard, uh, wine Guide continues to be well supported by key industry players such as yourselves in this room and beyond. This year, uh, we are celebrating 40 years, and we are really poised for another 40 years of um, great publication to you and your team, JP, as well as great wine that the winemakers will make. In 2017, Diners Club South Africa shifted gears and with pride started contributing to the education of those women who nurse the land, who tend to the wonderful vines. And of course, with that, we'd like to say thank you to our customers as well as our partners for your generosity as we change the aspirations of our communities and pay it forward to a thriving and successful South African wine industry um, through our Diners Cares initiative powered by Diners Dine for Change. To the business of tonight, I can't wait to celebrate the best Pinot Noir or Pinot, as it's affectionately known. As JP has already alluded, it really is an elegant wine, a romantic wine, difficult to get right, and of course with great complexity in both texture and taste. 
And with that, I'm also thrilled to be looking forward to celebrating our winning white as well for 2019 from our Diners Club Young, young Winemakers of 2019. Because cultivating young winemakers means that we have a sustainable future in our wine lands. I've been in the very privileged position where I've met both a, wine, a young winemaker who's also become a winemaker. And I'm really, really proud to be part of this brand, both in Standard Bank as well as Diners Club South Africa, and also to participate in an industry that is hard work but pleases so many, either at our tables right here or offshore. As I prepare to step off stage, please indulge me as I take pleasure in introducing you to our host tonight, whose experience ranges from cash and pension management, a leader in lending and financial services. We have successfully converted him from drinking tequila <laughs> to just absolute wine enjoyment. This is a man who celebrates art and loves to swim. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host with the most, the Managing Director of Diners Club South Africa, Ish Naidu. <laughs> Thank you, Ethel, for that wonderful introduction. Um, I'm not sure I'm such an expert in everything, and I'm not quite too sure that they've completely converted me, so I'm up for the challenge tonight, <laughs> for those of you who would like to convert me a bit further. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think Ethel has done a sterling job in terms of doing all the protocol items, and that's made my life a little bit easier because I can be here for a few less minutes. So, when they spoke to me and said I was going to be talking here today, I thought, well, what is it that I need to talk about? And obviously, this is a wine event, so there would be some pertinent wine facts that I would need to think about. But given my novice nature of wine, as you all understand, I'm a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to tequila, um, I had to ask for some information to be produced for me. And I got a whole host of facts that was given to me about wine. But I know that this room has probably got a whole lot more people that are far more educated in wine than I am. So I had to look deeply into it and say, what is the item that I'm going to talk about today? And so that I don't get it wrong, the comment was put to me, South Africa's wine industry is ranked amongst the best in the world for its superior quality. And I had to think about that seriously for a very long time. And I wasn't sure that I quite agreed with it. But I think I must explain. If I were wearing a green and gold rugby jersey, then I'd say it's not one of the best, it's the best. And for those of you that think that wine is the only thing that I'm going to get converted to, um, there are a few guests that we're converting to drink Springboks. Furthermore, if I look at everybody around me and all the happy faces that I see, I think I've got the wrong job. I prefer sitting down there, consuming, instead of standing up here, talking. But of course, all these functions come with some protocols. And it's important for me to say that the Diners Club Association and support of the wine industry goes way beyond just the winemaker of the year. We understand that superb production of wines go hand in hand with consumption of wines. And it's important that the public recognizes such experience. To this end, we recently awarded highly coveted Diners Club Wine List Award certificates around the country that combine their food menus and wine lists to best effect. What's important about this is that it's not just the top-end restaurants that get to enter. Any restaurant can enter. And ultimately, what is important, in simple terms, is that it's great food 
and great wine that is meant to tango perfectly in harmony. It's also important to mention the Platters by, um, sorry, Platters by Diners Club Wine Guide. Ethel's already spoken to you about how important this is and what we look to doing with this particular book going into the future. However, I think I've now spoken enough and I'm getting thirsty. Um, I don't think a shot of tequila is going to do it. You know, it's not volumetic enough. Um, so tonight, it's about the winemakers. And it's, this is our crowning event. And it's through these awards that we are able to elevate the winemakers whose skill, dedication, and genius made South African wine so highly respected. There's an old sentiment that I would like to put forth, which comes from the Chinese world. It says, honor the teachers who go before, honor the present teachers, and honor the teachers of the future. And I think if I were to adapt that to wine, it would be honor the winemakers that went before, honor the winemakers of the present, and honor those who are yet to come. So please enjoy tonight's evening and really have as much fun as possible. And thank you. Thank you so much, Esh, for those words, and Ethel. You can tell we are drawing the suspense out for as long as we can, but we are running out of, well, our runway is getting shorter, and we are getting much thirstier. But that first sip of this winning white wine is going to make it all worthwhile. And I really want to put some people out of their uh, anxiety state. Uh, the build-up will now just go on a little longer with an introduction to this year's finalists in the Young Winemaker of the Year. Thank you. It is only fitting that the Young Winemaker of the Year for 2019 will be awarded to the winner in the Best White Wine category as white grape varieties were the first to be planted in the cave in the 17th century. Tonight, we celebrate not only the legacy of these fine white varieties, but also the talent of each of these young vintners. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the 2019 Diners Club Young Winemaker of the Year finalists. Tace Smith, Grand Provence, James Usch, Stellenbosch Hills, Tim Whitfield, Tokara, Rudka van Veek, Stark Conde, Herman Dupria, Stellenrist Wine Estate. Here's an introduction to these talented finalists and their wines. Rudka, this year you've got a the Stark Conde Field Blend 2018, that's your entrant for Young Winemaker. Tell us about Field Blend, the name, what it means, and what goes into that wine. Yeah, so uh, the Field Blend actually is typical to the Madeiran Islands in Portugal. Coming back to Stark Conde, um, the wine or the venue is planted on a two hectare block um, with 11 different soil types, which makes it quite complex. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the oldest farm blocks in Stellenbosch in the Yonkersuk Valley. Um, by the Khoisan. We have this opportunity to create this ultimate white wine where we um, would plant four different varietals. So in the wine we have a Chenin Blanc, it's a Roussan, a Vionier and a Vidello. Um, and those four components we try and use as building blocks to uh, create the really balanced wine. And we co-ferment all four varietals and yeah, 90% of that goes into French oak and the rest is in cement egg. Um, and yeah, quite proud of that white. Very interesting. The block it comes from, that must be of quite some age now. Takara's got a long history with Sauvignon. We do have a long history, even though we're a young farm. Yeah. Taking two fantastic terroirs and um, yeah, taking the best from that and producing a wine that's, you know, almost, almost a blend of two lovely areas. Interesting. So, so you get the more green, fresh citrus um, component from Algon, um, which is renowned for Sauvignon Blanc. Um, and um, then obviously the Stellenbosch site, which is high up on the Simonsberg, which is predominantly a lot colder than the rest of Stellenbosch. Um, so then you get your more gooseberry flavours. So the Chardonnay is French based, uh, it comes from the Rob Slay Valley, and there's also a bit of uh, the Dello in there from the Polar region. 
So I think um, yeah, the, the, my whole wine philosophy is more creating elegant wines than uh, balanced wines. And I think that Chardonnay puts that forward. Lovely. And ageability on the Chardonnay? Uh, I would say roughly about five years. Tell me now, Tace, and turning to the Chenin Blanc, where are those grapes from? Is, is it on the farm? It's not on the farm. This, so there's a couple of sites. It's um, Stellenbosch and Franschuk. The Franschuk vineyard is about 38 years old, so that adds some nice complexity to the, to the wine. And um, there's also a bit of uh, Viognier and Vidello in there as well, just to add a bit more complexity. Okay. Emma, a white Sinzo. Tell me more about it. Firstly, it's called The Apprentice. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to know more about the name and also white Sinzo. Quite unusual. Tell us more. Yes, I started with the white Sinzo in 2015 uh, when I started at Stellenbosch. I was the apprentice at Stellenbosch, so I was doing my first harvest and then they said, okay, but you're the apprentice now, so you have to make something on your own. Okay. Here we harvest a bit earlier uh, to keep the acidity levels high, to keep the freshness in the wine. We fermented in, a, in an older barrel. I wanted to keep the fruit flavors of the, of the wine by itself, not overpowering by wood. And then we keep it on the leaves for nine months just to give some mouth to you. Interesting. Well, like any white wine, it goes with any fish dishes. If you're a real South African, it goes really good with some snook and some apricot. And then even more South African, it goes with a nice curry tripe. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Berg is our um, good fermented Chenin uh, 2017. And the Kastanienberg is actually one of the farms that we get the grapes from. Um, it's in the Stanimosh Kluwak area, um, situated in the higher slopes of the farm. It's a single, single block. Um, Southeast facing, and so it gets a lot of influence from the false bay area, which gives it a lot of more cooling aspects, so the fruit can stay longer on the vines, which gives it that most intense flavor from uh, from the skins and from the fruit. You can easily push for 10 years. It's got a high alcohol around about 14 and a half, um, and a nice acid level. And for me, acid and alcohol is key to ageability of wines. What a fun. What a fantastic bunch of winemakers, uh, as Esh and Ethel are talking, this is the future. Guys, the moment has come. To do the honors, I'd like to invite to the podium Diane Offerance, President of Discover Financial Services, please. Thanks, Diane. as well as Rutger van Beek, who is the outgoing young winemaker. He will help present the incoming winemaker with the trophy. Thank you, Rutger. Welcome to the podium. we've all been waiting for sealed envelope <sighs> Herman Dupre <laughs> Not so fast. Please say a few words. <laughs> it's time for some public speaking. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, JB, I think you should make the runway a bit shorter. <laughs> Next year, okay. It's quite a long runway. Uh, I think it's the first year a red wine actually won a white wine finalist. Um, but yeah, the whole idea behind the wine was actually to showcase what versatility we have with Senso. 
Um, I really didn't expect this. We tasted all the wines last night, and I was like, it's like taking a quick pick. 20%, 20%, just better chances. Um, so excellent wines from the guys. It was great competition. Um, yeah, and I thank you. It's a great event. I think I had to take out my step outs for the first time in a while. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Herman. Thank you so much. Well done to Herman Dupree and well done to Stellan Rist and the whole team there. And we really now are going to enjoy your wine, the White Sinzo, with our first course. So please have, uh, have more than a glass. And remember, after dinner, it also will be available after the event. Thank you. We'll enjoy starters and then be back. Enjoy.
Nay, the noblest of the white varieties. For centuries, the growing of Chardonnay has been a rite of passage throughout both the old and the new wine worlds. Another rite of passage is to be nominated for Winemaker of the Year, and it's an accolade that only a few will ever achieve. Simply to receive this nomination and to be in reach of the ultimate accolade, Winemaker of the Year requires a vintner to explore the boundaries of what is possible. In this way, winemaking is an art, the art of beautifully expressing the land and the climate through wine. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we celebrate winemaking as an art. We celebrate the winemakers who continuously test the boundaries of possibility. And we celebrate those who strive to capture moments and emotions that are as beautiful as they are subtle. We welcome you to the 2018 Diners Club Winemaker and Young Winemaker of the Year Awards, a celebration of joyous expression. Einstein once said, Art is standing with one hand extended into the universe and one hand extended into the world and letting ourselves be a conduit for passing energy. The Diners Club Winemaker of the Year Awards has been celebrating the artistic energy of wine and recognizing and lauding those who are at the forefront of the best South African winemaking for nearly four decades. And since 2001, young winemakers are rightly celebrated at these awards. Diners Club, a proud supporter of the South African wine industry, never ceases to be amazed at what is produced in our beautiful country by those who create these wonders. As we know, where there's fine wine, there's sure to be fine cuisine. As an extension of its commitment to South African wine, Diners Club applauds lovingly curated wine lists through the Diners Club Wine List Awards. Congratulations to this year's silver, gold, platinum, diamond and icon wine list award winners. For any discerning wine connoisseur, Platters by Diners Club South African Wine Guide represents the definitive word on South African wine, rating over 8,000 wines annually. Diners Club is proud to be associated with this best-selling wine guide. To be a pioneer and to test the boundaries of expression is to be brave. As we all know, bravery can take many forms, loud and brash, or quiet and purposeful. Diners Club celebrates the quiet bravery of the women working in the wine industry as they continually seek to empower themselves and to uplift their families. This is supported by Diners Club Cares, where we give back to the women of the winelands. Now, to begin tonight's celebration, ladies Hi, and Lydia. gentlemen, Please yeah, welcome your MC right, yeah, The runway is getting very short now, guys. We're, on, we're on the final takeoff for the, for the last round, and tonight now we'll go pretty, pretty quickly. We are moving on to the, the big one, and uh, to begin the, the build-up, which is going to be, as I say, not, not as detailed, uh, but this is significant. Pinot Noir is a fascinating wine variety. It uh, has an interesting history in South Africa, and part of that will be addressed in the opening, the introduction to, to the uh, finalists tonight. And without saying further, anything further, I'd like to draw your attention to the screens to introduce tonight's finalists for the Diners Club Winemaker of the Year 2019. As one of the oldest wine varieties in the world, Pinot Noir is notoriously difficult to grow and demands very specific conditions to excel. But when you get it right, its character is haunting and it's a wine lover's favorite the world over. The South African legacy of this wine owes much to the vision of Tim Hamilton Russell and Peter Finlayson, a previous Diners Club winemaker of the year. Tonight, we celebrate those who have continued to allow us to fall in love with what is often described as the most romantic of wines. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 Diners Club Winemaker of the Year finalists are 
Daniel Kilda, Natida Wine Farm, Jean Claude Martin, Creation Estate, Peter Devet, Devetshof Estate, Richard Kershaw, Richard Kershaw Wines, Jacques de Clac, Radford Dale. It's time to be introduced to these exceptional finalists and their wines. So Richard, you've got two Pinot Noirs in the Diners Club winemaker here. It's the 2018 Clonal Selection and the 2018 Himmel and Ardo Ridge. Tell us a bit about them, what makes them different? With regards to Elgin, clearly it's a very cold climate, so the style of Pinot that we're making is a more linear, uh, sort of leaner style with less colour, but usually with lots of power inside. And within Elgin, you've actually got that leaner style with that little bit more red fruit, um, and what we do there is we take the juice from the skins, we allow it to settle for five hours, and then we put it back onto, a, onto the crumbled cake um, to give us a freshness to the wine, um, but at the same time extracting the, the correct colour, but not too much tannin. Um, Hemelinada is a cool area for sure. The ridge is perhaps a little bit less cool of the three regions, but that little bit of um, extra, um, uh, what I would call richness, um, adds to the wine in a, in a different way that the Elgin wines do. I'm looking for these wines not just to enjoy now, but also to, to, to allow them to develop in complex with age. Well, there's a lot to enjoy about Pinot Noir, um, but specifically this wine is from a single vineyard in Elgin. I find that using a combination of whole bunches and whole berries um, gives us a semi-carbonic effect there and that tends to lift the fruit a little bit and brings it back and into a place where it's a bit more approachable and a little bit more pretty. And we only basket press this as well and this is another way to make sure that we only extract the beautiful soft tannins that, uh, that Pinot, good Pinot is known for. I think Pinot Noir is most probably that cultivar who expressed their work of the best and um, we are from the Hemden Art and Rich and I think uh, our estate Pinot Noir is actually five different sites who uh, gets to get in one blend and um, sometimes as we quite like to make size specific wines it's also sometimes nice to bring these five different sites together in our, in our estate wine. Um, it's, I think it's the only block in my life I've ever seen that's planted at a 90 degree angle. Wow. So, um, because of the small volumes that we do, it's easier to get complexity into the wine by getting two different angles into the vineyard. And I've been playing around with where 17 for me is a little bit more towards the Burgundy style than in the past I used to make a little bit more New Zealand style Pinot Noir, mm. if you want to put it into mm. a bracket. Okay. <laughs> I'm very new to Pinot Noir. To tell you the truth, the first Pinot Noir I've ever made in my life was 2015. So it's, it's still finding my feet and sort of trying to figure out what I want to do and what works best in South Africa, I think. It's a... Uh uh, unique variety. It's very hard, um, uh, very different to any other uh, variety. Uh, definitely, I think the hardest um, of all to get right. The birds have been making Pinot Noir for a number of years now. Yeah. How old are your vines? I think we planted in in ninety, so ninety eight, ninety nine era. That's good. Age. Um, so yeah, it's it's if not more than twenty, it's, it's just on twenty years already. Age does everything. Uh, the soil is very high with uh, rocks and stones, actually very low uh, soil content. And uh, uh, so the vine is actually forced uh, to go further down uh, for water and uh, at least uh, normalization. And I think this is sort of the secret of making good Pinot Noir, is you want complexity and you want layering and you want balance. And I think you know, power is not the answer to make great Pinot Noir. You, you want, you want uh, the, the, the balance between all the characters. There we go, very well spoken, eloquently describing the, the beauty of Pinot Noir. To hand over this coveted award, I'd like to ask again to join me at the podium, Diane Offerens, Ethel Niembe, Eshnaidu, as well as the outgoing Diners Club winemaker of the year, Clayton Rebo, and the drum roll and Excitement can commence. I like it. I absolutely do. Oh, the envelope won't open. Maybe my hands are shaking. Nah, opened. Oh. 
Danny Kilda. Right, now for the difficult part, hey? Um, <laughs> I think first of all, um, first person that you need to, to thank is JP reference to them as well. Uh, I've got 10 ladies that's working in the vineyards, and those are the ladies that make the decision about what berries need to be picked and which ones doesn't. I've got three guys that do, does all my pruning. Those are the guys that decide what shoots will be, will be kept and how the, the, the vines will be formed for the next year. So those guys are the, the guys that's really making the difference for all my wines, I think. Um, yeah, so thank you very much to those guys. Second of all, my wife, Julie, thank you for keeping up with me in harvest time, eh? It's, it's, it is difficult times. We're away from our, from our houses for about three months, four months of the year. Makes it difficult. Um, Bernard Valle, the owner of, of, of Natida, he gives me a lot of, of freedom to do what, whatever the hell I want to, so that, that makes my life a lot easier. Um, and then lastly, thank you, Diners Club. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done, Diney. Well done. Well, now we really look forward to the uh, a glass of Pinot, or two, or three, paired with the main course. And, uh, and I just think that... Um, it's fantastic that, as Donnie expressed, he's relatively new to Pinot. He's obviously working with a great team. Uh, Durbanville is a fantastic wine region that's now part of, a, of, of Cape Town, which is the appellation that they formed recently, which is a great way to step forward to present the wines of South Africa, as well as our great tradition of the Stellenbosch, Franschuk, Paul, our legacy, and uh, bedrock winery areas. I mean, South African wine is only going from strength to strength. When Esh mentioned earlier the um, amongst the best in the world, you know, from, from the early, uh, when did I begin to comment on wine, but it goes back a little way, uh, at least 25 years, we really have seen amazing improvements. We still underprice our wines, but we over-deliver all the time. Thank you all for that work. And now let's enjoy main course, and uh, I'll be back afterwards. Thank you.
you to take your seats once more for the ultimate part of the evening's proceedings. Make the, the trek back to your seats. Uh, we, this is really the time when it's difficult to try to corral the, the team, but it's been a fantastic evening, so I'll make some preliminary remarks and thank very much the, um, all of you tonight for showing up, looking great, really amazing. This is, as I say, and the fact that La Residence have put together such an incredible evening for us, I'd really like to say the service, the food, the pairings, the, the space, the way the, the room looks, the fact that they prevented the rain from falling, even though all of my weather sites guaranteed some rain, so just a round of applause to La Residence. Thank you very much. Ed, Edward and the team, very well done. Um, and I really, really enjoyed the pairing. Well done again to Dani and the, and the Pinot Noir. And the time has come to discuss your social media activity. And the results are in, I believe. Ethel is standing with two bottles of, of, of signed uh, bottles, two bottles of the winning wine signed by the winemakers, so highly collectible, but you probably want to drink them because they're such good wines, or um, invest in some more wines outside afterwards. So right now, I'd like to ask Ethel, please, to take to the podium to announce tonight's social media winner. Good evening again. Um, it was really a close contest. Um, so we have our social media experts who were making sure that the judging is uh, fair and it incorporates all the various elements that would consider a win. So really close, Eat Out was amazing. But on animation, Menzi, please come through because you've won. Menzi has an entourage. Well done. I wish my phone worked so hard for me. So uh, we, we really have, it's one of those moments in the evening where I, um, thank you very much, Ethel. You. you may enjoy the rest of the evening. And um, it's one of those moments where you realize all of this, uh, you look back and you go, why did it go by so fast? Because it's been so special. Thank you all so very much. And uh, next year is the 40th, 40th Diners Club winemaker and young wine, well, not young winemaker, that came a bit later, but it's the 40th winemaker of the year next year, so we really are, we are nearly catching up to the Platters Guide, which turned 40 this year. But yes, I really would like to thank you all again. The night is not over. We have the fantastic Kyle Peterson Band is going to strike up some incredibly, uh, you know, over the last few years, amazing tunes that will be outside. You're welcome to please stay, enjoy some more wines, enjoy some drinks, have a great time. Kick off the festive season. And a reminder, the wines are available for sale. And also to ask the Diners Club team and the award winners tonight to please uh, step outside to the lounge for some further photo photographs and publicity. And from my side, just to say thank you so very much. 
Let's celebrate good times, good friends, and this incredible wine industry and this wonderful life we lead. And I really say, travel safe, good night, and you please have an amazing festive season. Thank you very much.